Hey, Don here. Okay, I'm doing my experiment one again uh, with uh, Manicam running three cam three webcams. Um, I tried to record it. Manicam will do desktop recordings, but uh, it couldn't do the audio. It kept jacking up the audio. So you know, I've tried all different variations. See, like I have here's my desktop recording uh, set up. Of course, I'm doing a desktop recording with Cam Studio there, but uh, and I have cameras in there and, and took them out and stuff, you know, like put them in the right one of the corners or something. But um, you know, when you're doing a uh, screencast, really, you don't want a camera in there because it hides what's going on. And uh, so this is for me to use let me go ahead and do that right now this is to use with Skype that's the whole point of me doing this and the odd thing is is when uh, I was in Skype a while ago my audio was pick, picking up perfectly in Skype with Camp Studio running and then whenever I turned off Camp Studio I lost my audio Skype's taking a while to start up with all this going on here it's not real fast it's starting up any let me get logged on that's the only way you can run so you can't do any test or do anything in Skype unless you're logged on it's kind of a pain actually so uh... because I like to get things set up before I log on you know because if somebody's there and tries to talk to you and you're not ready then that's uh... real aggravating. So I'm going to the um, options in Skype, tools options, <coughs> audio settings should be working, yeah. Takes them a minute to show up, but it's working. It's I'm leaving it on automatic, it seems good. <coughs> I think I've been making these videos for a couple hours and all once with the bad audio I had just deleted them a minute ago. And video okay I left it set. Yeah, look at that. So I've got uh, my three cameras set up. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Uh, it's a bit overkill, isn't it? Um, but you can open up. Uh, Manicam sits down there in the system tray. It's running. You can open it up and switch. And of course, the person you're talking to will only see what you show them there in the uh, in your uh, window like that you know so you could go if I wanted to get on the web browser and show them something so uh, yeah I'm gonna leave it like that I, uh, I think that my audio will be fine I was worried about it cutting out in Skype you know uh, that guy looks sort of to me like uh, Wolverine there I don't think he's supposed to I think it's just just the way he looks with his head down there and that advertisement at one fun time I could get rid of those advertisements but I don't know if you can anymore so I'm gonna get out of I think I have this the way I want it let's see this is in Windows here Windows 7 and I always I'd quit Skype there we go that'll log you out and quit it and then it'll ask you if you want to and all this junk I run Linux for everything except for a few things that you know have a few more features in Windows like Skype. There's a Skype for Linux but it doesn't have many features. Although it's fine. You wouldn't have this many cam and all that but uh, you can try you can switch between cameras in it just fine. While it's you can do, I've done it before you can do it while you're talking. <coughs> um, and uh, but you wouldn't have the multiple camera display like that. Uh, this many cams will just kind of toy, fun toy, really. It could be useful uh, if you paid. The free version won't let you use all these others. Just two, two, two windows. But you can use. I don't know how many things you can put in there. I've got three in there, but I wouldn't try more than that. Really, it gets to be using too many resources. But. Uh, It's pretty neat. Um, oh, even just the free version's pretty neat. You can uh, 
keep forgetting what makes it oh if you're yeah if you're in the uh, um, screencast if you yeah I'm on screencast this right here actually why isn't it showing up should be showing up right now oh I wonder how I got disabled there we go I should be doing it right now if you say no scrolling then it put it right in the mi middle oh I guess I c it probably is working and I can't see it in the preview of Manicam so that's what I was doing is going by that I won't see it on my desktop that's what's got me confused okay so uh, I suppose the text is scrolling across there right now maybe I could see it up in there I don't know I can't tell it's too small anyway oh I've got it on no scrolling anyway yeah it would have been in the middle and then it, it gets covered up by part of that manic cam logo that you can't take away so um, if I mean you can it would be you could if he, the older version you could take it out but they changed it and uh, yeah I don't believe the text shows up in camera mode at all Oh, yes, it does. Look at you. That's what I was trying to do. Is if you move it kind of slow, and um, oh, hurry and stop it if you're fast enough. There we go. Then it'll stay right there, and that's pretty cool. It has cuts and. I thought it went away in, uh, it must go away in, yeah, it's there in camera mode, and it goes away in, uh, screencast mode. But this other one, the lower third, the banner, it will show up no matter what mode you're in. But if you're doing a screencast, and you have that nice banner up there, and everything you do, like down here in the, uh, start menu and everything is hidden the search and all that stuff and of course it hides quite a bit of the lower portion of the screen it's pretty neat it's nice looking so uh, it's l it has a pretty slow I guess you could set I don't know if you can set how long it takes or not but uh, let's see yeah it already closed sky Okay, well, I think this will work. Um, so I can switch between the screencast to whoever I'm talking to, and I can have however many cameras I want in the camera side. This is what I think I want. I don't want a camera in the screencast because it just blocks what you're trying to show. And I probably won't want this camera here here because it shines a light in my face and if you're in video where you go you gotta go to video you gotta go to image and then you can swap between two of course that makes it move back to the default place when you do that and you gotta fix it you can do it while it's work running though which is cool you can do one so it puts it right now. It, it lost it all together. Doesn't even have what you don't even know what camera you want. So you got to fix it again. So you know all the live switching things that you could do. Uh, at least it's, I don't know if that's just because it's the free version or what. If that's how it always works, but uh, but I don't I'll this other camera one that's coming up right now it's actually got a better resolution than this one here this is my oldest one it was so cheap that I got it for free with a rebate way back in something like heck I don't know when they first, when web cameras were just about brand new I mean they had really not been out long at all well, you maybe. and you can drag them 
it doesn't matter if it goes off the off of your screen and inside the mani cam window I figured that out then uh, that's fine it makes it uh, you can resize the window but there's really no need just leave it the size that it you know the the resolution the dimensions <coughs> that it's supposed to be and then just drag it until you get how much of it is showing that you want showing the green deal there that helps you see where you're putting it oh there we go you can drag it without the green showing didn't know that the green deal it lets you kind of see where you're putting it <coughs> it was confusing me because it was on the main window so now I understand you got if you get a good click in the window you're gonna drag first then you can kind of see what you're doing oops that camera this camera that I'm moving now is on the same tripod as this one and I can't so and it uh, it just naturally zooms in you, you can't there is no zoom on either one of them you know what I mean but it naturally gets closer <coughs> so <coughs> kinda tricky but I think I'll leave it like that for the next time I get in it and uh, next time I get on Skype and uh, It'll be kind of fun, and then if I want to go in here and say, "Oh, hey, I want to show you this uh, thing on the web," I'm not going to open up the web. I was going to say I'll show you this on the website. I'm not going to open up the web browser because, uh, uh oh, which one is that camera? I don't see it. There it is. There, so I can stop it. Mani cam. I mean, it's not a camera. Cam studio. I don't know why it's called cam at all. It does. It only thing it does is record your desktop. I think. Yeah, I believe that's the only thing I've ever. Yeah, that's the only thing it'll do. I believe. So anyway, uh, too bad Manny Cam can't record, or I guess it can, but it doesn't do as high. This does full. Cam Studio does full. Re whatever resolution your desktop is, it'll do it. This one, that's the highest it'll do for free for the free version so uh, and it uses a whole lot of resources when you try to record with the re uh, with the cam actually I tried all the way down to one camera and it and it could the audio wouldn't work it kept you know it, uh, it would uh, come and go and spikes of noises and stuff it just couldn't handle it the machine couldn't handle it and so if you got a two dual core 2 gigahertz with 3 giga ram that ain't enough on your oh, it says a laptop Intel processor <coughs> it's not enough so uh, anyway I believe this recording will work okay and when you close actually you can minimize an anti-cam or you can close the window and it'll still be running in the background and it'll still do the things it needs to do okay now the light went out on that camera so it went away to the manic cam I guess it it uh, deactivates it sorta of, but I know when I was in Skype and it was minimized it still showed up I believe I'll find that out next time but uh, that's pretty cool the only thing about this one is it records in two Formats only AVI and SWF. It's doing AVI right now. It, that button there would be to switch to F SWF, and it's really kind of the whole program's kind of buggy. It's spo it's supposed to be open source, but whoever was developing it, they quit developing it. And don't ever download a newer version, the newest version. So does it say the version in there? No. Let me see if it says it in here. Yeah, this version version 2.6 it is the best one to get or the first one before it even uh, it's but if you go to their website and download the newest one which is still several years old this is 2014 now it is infected with a virus right now in uh, as of uh, June and July 2014 <coughs> uh, more, the previous version right before it's not but it keeps asking you do you want to update do you want to update and if you forget if you just click yes then it takes you straight to that infected page 
I don't know what's going on with that. It looks like it's just not maintained and somebody must have hacked their server and uh, put a virus on it. Unless the person that was doing it did it on purpose, who knows. But uh, I made a video about that, all that. So anyway, I think I'll leave Manny Kim and Skype like that and uh, try to work them together next time I actually use Skype. <coughs> okay, cool deal. We'll stop this one.